So I get people asking me all the time, every single day I get at least one DM. Hey Mark, what phone are you using? Hey Mark, what's your daily driver? Are you still using Samsung, Mark? Hey Mark, ketchup or mustard? So I'm here to answer those questions, or at least those first three questions. So yes, I did switch to the iPhone 11 Pro. Kinda. Well guys, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Catch you in the next video. <laughs> All jokes aside, the reason why I switched to the iPhone is because one, it's a new phone. I always switch to the newest phone. That's just how it's gonna be forever. And number two, I use iMessage with my family and it's nice to send 4K 60 video over iMessage since every single iPhone in the world has iMessage already installed. I don't have to call and say, hey, can you, uh, can you download WhatsApp real quick? I, I have to send you a, a video. Because if someone did that to me, I will be like, no, I'm, I'm not gonna download anything. Who are you? Bye, don't call me, I'll call the cops. I just don't wanna have to make someone download something for me to send them something. It should just be right there and that's what iMessage is. But don't let that fool you. I still use my Note 10 Plus every single day. I just use it as my secondary phone. I always have iPhone and Note 10 Plus with me all at, you know, during the entire day. They're both in my, are you okay? Did I crack you? No, nah, you're fine. I use them both every day. They're both my daily phone. But if we're talking about which, what phone has my SIM card in it, what phone I use more, is obviously the iPhone. I can't use the Note without Wi-Fi. So, But wherever I do have Wi-Fi, which is like everywhere, I use my Note 10. And I feel like that's the best thing to use, you know, the best of both worlds. You know, iPhone for simplicity and... Simplicity. <laughs> and the Note 10 Plus for pretty much anything else. The 11 Pro is a good phone as an iPhone, you know, it, it's good for what it does. The photos that come out of this iPhone is literally insane. It is an amazing phone. I'm so glad Apple finally stepped up its, its, its camera game this year. Not only do we have a night mode now, but now we have an ultra wide camera. That's a huge upgrade from the 10s max so that just made iphone much more versatile than last year's model another reason why i switched to the iphone as my main phone is battery life if you guys know me i'm a freak when it comes to battery if any phone has a great battery i most likely will use it that's pretty much what's been going on the note 10 plus fantastic the iphone 11 pro max out of this world on my battery test days, I, I was constantly getting between eight to nine hours of screen on time with like 15, 16, 17% left. I cannot kill it. For, for what I do on my day-to-day -day usage, I cannot kill the iPhone in one day. I just can't do it. I have to purposely like play games to kill it, but I don't really play games. So I don't, I'm not gonna do that to kill because I don't play games. And on days that I don't really use it, let's call those medium days, I'm constantly coming home with like 50 to 60% of battery left and calling it a day. It's, it's really that good. When it comes down to productivity, yeah, the Note 10 Plus cannot be beat. It, it really cannot. I find myself moving through documents, folders, multitasking and files manager just much quicker, much, much quicker on the Note 10 Plus than I do on the iPhone. In fact, when I did switch to the iPhone as my main phone, I, I found that that part of the productivity, for me at least, uh, it, it slowed down a little bit. I, I can't do things as fast as I can on the Note when it comes down to productivity. So I'm glad to be using both phones at the same time. You know, I, I, I always plan to keep one iPhone on me and one Android device on me. At the moment, that's the Note 10 Plus. In about 10 days, it'll be the Pixel 4. And then in about 20 days, it'll be the OnePlus 7T. So we'll see. I mean, iPhone, because I, I want to make videos on both iOS and on Android, right? And since Android is like a, a multitude of phones, they are going to be coming out much quicker, obviously, than iPhone. iPhone only comes out once a year. So I'm going to have always one iPhone on me and then the rest, whichever new Android comes out, that's the Android that I'm going to keep in my pocket as my secondary phone. I think all phones nowadays are just too damn good. Like you have to really nitpick to be like, oh, this phone's better. Like I can't say which phone is better because the, they're all, they're, they just, they're aimed at two different sets of people. So I can't say this phone is better than this phone or this phone is better than that phone. 
I can't say it. They're, they are both excellent. They both satisfy me. They, they both do what I want them, what I want them, what? <laughs> they both do what I need them to do and they do them just fine. And in fact, this is the first time in a long time that Apple iPhone has gotten the top spot in Consumer Reports for the best smartphone award. And if you guys don't know, Consumer Reports is a nonprofit organization. They test out phones. Uh, they cannot be bought out. No company sends them phones. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of them want to do that, but they always decline. They're, they're, they're just like us. They go out and buy the phone and use them and then give them a rating. And this year, uh, the iPhone 11 Pro models got the number one best smartphone according to Consumer Reports. Before that, I think four years before this year, uh, Samsung has been winning for four years pretty much. So I'm happy that Apple got top spot this year. And it really does kind of show, if you really think about it, the the, the Apple, uh, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is a super good phone. It's everything the, the 10s Max was except much better. Ever since pretty much iPhone, Every single camera update that we had wasn't really that massive. Like it wasn't, it was just, yeah, a little bit brighter, a little bit better frame rates, resolutions. But think about it. The, the 10S Max, the front facing camera was 1080p. This year, not only did they go to 4K, but they completely skipped 4K 30. They were like, no, no, let's do 4K 60. So now the front facing camera does 4K 60, something that the Note doesn't even do. And it does 4K 60 on all cameras, again, Nope, can't do that. And they even added a night mode. So not only did they majorly upgrade the cameras, but they also added a, the night mode function. Oh, and they made the battery last much, much longer. So it's not really a surprise that it won top smartphone of the year. But as always, tech moves fast in this world. So I'm pretty sure uh, Apple won't hold that record for long. So guys, I hope that answers your question. Yes, I did switch, but mainly because I always switch to the newest phone. And I will use that previous phone as my secondary phone. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so guys, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.